Welcome to our lecture online. Before we do our next several examples about a car driving up an incline, we're going to explore the concept of a percent grade. A lot of times you're driving on the highway and you see a sign saying danger, 6% grade, especially when it's a downhill because big trucks need to be careful not to get into a runaway situation. But what exactly do we mean by a slope on the road which represents 6% grade. And yes, I did use the word slope because it turns out that the word grade is essentially a synonymous with the word slope. Now let's explore the concept of slope. By definition, in algebra we've learned that the slope is equal to the ratio of the rise divided by the run. So when we take a look at this, this here represents the rise. And this here represents the run and the grade is exactly that ratio it's the ratio of the rise divided by the run and if that is equal to six percent let's say six percent so this is equal to six percent that means this is equal to 0 0.06 so that's the percentage written as a decimal which means this is the same as six divided by 100 written as a fraction as a fraction so that means that if the rise is 6 meters, the run will be 100 meters. So for example, the rise would be a rise of 6 meters when we make a run of 100 meters. Now that doesn't mean that the distance the car traveled is 100 meters, it's the horizontal distance. Now it turns out that the slope of a, or, or I mean the uh, hypotenuse, is really not a lot longer than the horizontal portion of that triangle, but to be exactly correct, we, we cannot say that it's the distance of the car traveling 100 meters to gain a rise of 6 meters. It's the horizontal distance traveled by the car as in respect to the rise. So for example, if we take the rise of the road and we divide it by the horizontal distance traveled by the car, that's exactly the grade. To show you why that is the case, let's calculate the angle of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate the angle theta and from that we're going to calculate the distance traveled by the car which will be slightly more than 100 meters. So here we can say that the, the tangent of theta is equal to the rise divided by the run which means that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of the rise divided by the run and so in this case, that's the inverse tangent of 6 divided by 100. So we're going to find the angle of that. So 0 0.06, take the inverse tangent of that. That gives us an angle of, and let's make sure we keep enough decimal places, 3.433633 degrees. I think that's enough decimal places. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the hypotenuse. So when we take the sine of theta by definition, that's equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, which means that the hypotenuse, the distance traveled by the car, is equal to the opposite side divided by the sine of theta. So it's going to be equal to 6 meters divided by the sine of the angle that we just found, which is 3.3 degrees. All right, so let's take the sine of that and take the inverse of that and multiply that times 6, and this is what we get. We get, whoop, if I can take the cap off my pen, so that means that the hypotenuse is equal to 100.18 meters. So notice that the car actually travels 18 centimeters more than the horizontal distance. It's a very small amount. In effect, it really doesn't make much of a difference, but to be absolutely correct, the definition of a grade is the rise divided by the run, which means the height gained by the car divided by the horizontal distance traveled. Now you can see that at a grade of 6%, it only makes a difference of 0.2% or not even 0.2%, so it's not really that important, but just so you know and, and understand the pure definition of what we mean by the grade or 6% grade on a road. It's simply the same as the slope. It's the, the ratio of the rise over the run. And that's what it means.